What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a Primarina team for Regulation F. Now, Primarina is a Gen 7 water starter and it's such a solid Pokemon for competitive battles. It has access to great moves, it has a great typing, and on top of that, it learns a great ability. This Primarina that we're using today is rocking Liquid Voice as its ability and holding the leftovers as its item. It's got Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Calm Mind to set up that special attack, and special defense boost, and last but not least, it is rocking protect. But like I said, Primarina is just a solid competitive Pokemon, so this won't be the last time you guys see it on my channel, or when you're going up against people on the rank ladder, because people will definitely be rocking this Pokemon. And our second slot is another Regulation F Pokemon, it is going to be Smeargle. Now this Smeargle build right here is actually really cool. You got the Moody, you got the Focus Dash, normal stuff right there, but the moveset, pretty fun. You got Decorate to boost ally special attack by plus two stages, then you got Follow Me, you got Jungle Healing for HP recovery, and then you got Spiky Shield. So a lot of people are probably going to be sitting there like, hey, Smeargle's on the field, it's definitely going to spore me. But in this case, it's just boosting special attack and healing up your teammates. Cannot wait to use it. We also got Metagross on the team, who's a solid Pokemon, can hit hard, can break screens, can do a lot. We also got Grimstar on the set screens, we got Incineroar, and then we got Sinisha for a nice little sport and HP recovery. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match with Primarina. Huge shout out to the team creator, goes by the name of Jordan. Thank you so much for sending me this team over on Twitter. We'll be linking his pages down in the description below, alongside with the Pokebase. So if you want to check out this team more in depth, make sure you head down in the description below. But we're hopping into our first match, and they got screens, right? They got Nine Tails, they got Grimmsnarl, both can set up screens. So honestly, Metagross is going to be a great Pokemon for us. It's got Psychic Fangs now, and it can break screens. So I'm all about it. They also have Incineroar, they got Enamorous, they got Sinisha, and Iron Hand. So actually, they have some fake out users. They got, what's it called as well? Uh, Trick Room users as well. So this battle could be a little rough for us, but I'm going to go Pre-Marina and Metagross for lead. I'm going to bring Incineroar in the back end, and then I could go Smeargle, but I think Sinistra is going to be solid, especially for HP recovery, all that good stuff. So I'm going to lock this in. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I think they're going to lead some sort of screens. That's why I want to lead Metagross, right? Metagross is solid all around. I could have set up screens myself. But I think just like attacking them and allowing them to set up screens because I could just break them is a pretty solid move for us, right? I think it's great. And if they're going to set up screens, I might just set up Calm Mind turn one, right? Ooh, that looks good. Let them set up screens. Waste of time with that. Psychic Fangs of screens. And on top of that, set up a Calm Mind. Ooh, could be good. Could be real good for us. Could definitely be great for us. But we'll see who they want to lead. They have a lot of different options. Because they could pop Trick Room with uh, Sinistra. They could set up screens with Grimstone or Ninetales. They can lead Incineroar, which leading Incineroar, I wouldn't mind too much. I am kind of scared of that for my... Uh, for my Metagross, but at that point, I have Primarina on the field, and I could just Terrasilize. So not bad, not bad. And if they want to lead nine times, we already have this this uh, Metagross on the field. And Grimstone. There's Grimstone and Enamorous, so great poke, great lead for us to start off here. I love it, I love it. I love it. So from here, um, I think we just Meteor Mash, right? We look for this attack boost. I could actually start attacking you. Yeah, I'm going to attack you, and I'm just going to go for a Calm Mind boost here. That's exactly on the window. So, Light Screen comes out here. So, he goes for a Light Screen over Reflect Turn 1, which is kind of weird. Superpower is going to fly here, and you're out speed of me. I'm able to soak, which is great. They're going to get that attack and defense boost, which is kind of annoying. And we'll see how much damage this Meteor Mash wants to do. Lovely damage. That's beautiful damage. That's beautiful damage. And I get to set up this combo. So... I get Calm Mind boosted. They have Late Screen up. I should be able to just Psychic Fang KO you and break screens at the same time. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to send a Moon Blast this way. So I got Calm Mind boosted. Superpower. They're boosted on defense and attack. I mean, even with that attack boost, I don't see you KO in my Metagross, right? I don't see that happening. So I'm hoping this Grimstar will waste his turn setting up a Reflect. And I can just Psychic Fang it down, right? Let's see what Grimstar is doing here. He's gonna—he's just gonna pop a reflect. Okay. So they still have it because they protect this turn. But I have to take off screens right here, right now. Screens have got to go. So I'm throwing a moon blast here. I'm combine boosted one. 
Oh my damage, Primarina. Ripping. Ripping. And we're just going to do the same thing. Psyche Fangs this slot. And I think we'll just Hyper Voice. Just in case they want to hard swap out, right? Yeah, I'm just going to Hyper Voice. It turns into a water move. The water Hyper Voice. Just in case something goes wrong. Just in case they swap out. You never know, right? If they swap Enamorous, then we can deal some more damage into that slot, too. Because both these Pokemon are low enough to die to just this one Hyper Voice. So right now, Enamorous is the fastest on the field. But again, I don't see it being able to KO my Metagross. I just don't. I just don't see it being able to KO my Metagross. Because it's only stat moves are Flying and Fairy, and they're both weak up against Metagross. So that superpower should bring us down to the red, not KO us. And yeah, we should be able to break screens here and roll out strong here in match number one. Lovely. They're going to Terrasilize. Oh, Terra. As long as it's not Dark Terra on Enamorous. I mean, I have, I have Liquid Voice flying through here, but they're going to Terrasilize you, and you're going to go... Oh, this might KO me now. Stellar Terra, really? Stellar Terra, really? They end up parting shotting. So I'm back normal on my attack stat. They might get screens off. <laughs> they might have screens for the rest of the match. <laughs> oh, no. I should just bullet punch that thing and broke screens next turn. Sinisha now comes out here and hospitality is up. I do have liquid voice popping in that. Like I said, we pick up KO regardless. Superpower's gonna find that's gonna KO us now, isn't it? Can you soak this Metagross? Oh my god, I love you. I love you, Metagross. I love you. I love you so much. That's so big. That's massive, because now Psychic Fangs flies. We get rid of screens, we get rid of Enamorous, we get rid of their Terra. Oh, dude, that's that's just massive. That's just massive. And I think at this point, we might want to try to set up another combine. They might bring back out Grimstar for more screens, but two support Pokemon will pretty much allow me to just Terrasilize Primarina and get off a uh, get off another combine boost. Oh, that's so nice. That's just so lovely. Are they going to go back out in the Grimstar? I doubt it, because then I just bull punch it. No, they're going to Ninetales. So I think with Ninetales on the field, I think we just go here with bull punch. And then we just terrestrialize you in the dragon and bu -bu 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 -bum, probably just moonblast double down in the slot. But yeah, because Ninetales is really their only big attacker now. But the reason I want terrestrialize is Machigacha just not dealing with it, right? I'm not dealing with Machigacha doing a ridiculous amount of damage. They get back a ridiculous amount of HP. So we'll terrestrialize Primary here. It's already plus one on special offense, which is huge. We're back to normal on special attack due to the... Uh, what they use? Did they use a uh, party shot? I forget what they did. Yeah, they used party shot with Grimstarl. Back my special attack down a little bit. But still, we're gonna hit that terror button. Bullet punch flying through. It should chunk up. Oh yeah, did chunk up. And Blizzard's gonna fly. Why are you using Blizzard, man? Why are you using Blizzard? I'm a water type. I'm a water type. And you get a crit on me too. Machi gotcha coming out here. Good thing we outspeed, so that works fine. That works fine. We didn't have to rasslize, but. I thought maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't have Thrasilize. But Metagross is going to dodge. Just giving him another turn. That's actually pretty big. Primarina should eat. Yep. And that's why we want Thrasilize and Dragon. And we can go from there. Metagross is still alive. But Max number one, we live out here with Metagross and Primarina. Metagross and Pre? Come on now. But it's good to know that Primarina showed that I can outspeed the, uh, the Sinisha. Which is good. So we should just be able to Bullet Punch, finish off Grimmsnarl. And then just wrap up the battle. But I think they cancel, right? They gotta cancel. This match is wraps. Yep, they cancel battle and we sweep in match number one. Great start for us rocking out with Prima Arena in match number one. But we're hopping into our second match. And honestly, I would love to use Smeargle with Prima Arena here. We're going up against a Sun Squad, right? With a few water Pokemon. Sun slash Rain? Yeah, because they got Pelper, they got Ninetales set to Sun and the Rain. Araquanid, Venusaur, Superior, and they got Go Go. Honestly, Incineroar is not bad here, but if they set the Rain, then it's kind of bad. Then it's kind of bad. But the Sun's looking a little bit of a threat. I am going to go Primarina here for a lead, and I might just go Smeargle out here. A little bit of moody Smeargle. I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. So Primarina, Smeargle for the lead. I could go Metagross with the uh, Water Terror type. Not too shabby here. And last but not least, I could just go Sinisha, or I could go Incineroar. What would I rather have here? 
it's tough. I probably like Incineroar, just depending on the weather they go into it. But I feel like they're gonna go in the sun, so that's why I would like Incineroar. Pelipper's kind of there. What would Pelipper pair up with? Araquitid? Maybe in Trick Room? Yeah, makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. All right, so we're one and L. Free Marina killing it. We're using it with Smeargle in this match, so it should be fun. I just dropped my controller. And now I got my controller. Love it. Love dropping my controller. But uh, Free Marina's here. They got Venusaur. They got Nine Tails. So they're going to set the sun. The sun is out and about. Um, I think now is a solid time to rationalize you. I'll probably just drop this Hyper Voice. On top of that, we could go Jungle Heal. We could decorate. We could decorate you. I think that's a not a bad turn just to decorate you. Yeah, go plus two on special attack. I like it. I like it. So we're going to Terrastalize, and then maybe next turn I could just like simply just follow me, follow me, follow me. I think that, that could be good. We'll see, but we have a solid terror type of dragon here. Dragon works really, really well here. But if they want to go for Solar Beam, I don't mind it too much. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. I could see like a solar beam and uh, heat wave coming in here. But no, they go for a weather ball here, so they're gonna attack my Smeargle. Wow, Smeargle taking some damage here. Smeargle taking some damage. He's gonna take some life orb damage, and Decorate's gonna be able to come out here. So that's huge. That's huge that we're able to decorate this Pokemon. Get that attack and special attack moves. Energy Ball gonna fly here. That's cool. We get Smeargle for another turn. And we soak that like it's nothing. Hyper Voice flying. I know it's in the sun, but the damage for the plus two is huge. It's huge. So now we're sitting here. We get some leftovers HP, which is massive. And I think we just follow me and we attack this Venusaur. Right? Moody comes here and we get a defense drop. Okay, so nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But yeah, I like Moonblast, but I also like this Hyper Voice. I'm scared of like a spore, but you know what? We're just gonna hyper voice here, and I'm just gonna follow me. We're just gonna keep chunking up damage. The smear goal starting off things hot with Primarina getting after it. The sun is terrifying. I am scared of spores, but I do have Metagross. I do have Fake Out in the back end as well. So I have two ways of first turn priority with Fake Out and Bullet Punch. That's not bad for us. It's not bad, especially Primarina outspeeding Nine Tails. But we go for the follow me. He's going for the Earth Power. That's fine. And from here, Primarina should be able to take out the Nine Tails no problem and chunk up some more damage on the Venusaur. Yo, Venusaur looks so good in this game. His textures are awesome. Oh, I forgot. I thought the Nine Tails went after our Primarina. It don't even matter. We soak it up all day. We had a perfect terror type. So Primarina in the sun ripping. We get Smeargle out there with it, and I actually really like that. I actually really like that. So look at Ven Yo, Venusaur's just textures look so good in this game. Look at that guy. Look at him. He's looking awesome. But from here, um, Metagross could come out here. I could go Incineroar, and I think I'm just gonna go Incineroar. Are they gonna bring out a physical attacker? I'm trying to remember who they had. I think I just go Incineroar here. I think it's just a simple smart play. I go Incineroar. We're gonna go Araquanid. That's actually good. That is a physical attacker right there. Little water water bug though. Little water bug, but we do get the drop on a physical attack set, which is huge. Um, from here, it does have water absorbed, so that's something I gotta watch out for. And I'm thinking we just flare blitz this thing instead of faking it out. I could fake it out. I could flare blitz it as well. I'm trying to remember what moves it has. It has earth power. Which is a bit scary. Um yeah, we might as well just start wasting out the sun. I'm just going to fake out the Venusaur. He ends up withdrawing the Araquanid. Going into their final Pokemon. They're going to catch a Moonblast in this slot. It's going to be Pelipper. So he's going to set the weather. He's going to set the weather, which actually helps out my Primarina. Actually helps out my Primarina. Fake out's going to pop here. Deal a little bit of damage. That thing's going to be flinching. And Primarina's dropping a Moonblast. Which is doing ridiculous amount of damage. Primarina! Coming out here, plus two on that special attack stat. That could be just so nice. It's just so nice. It goes plus two on attack and plus two on special attack. It's such a good move, but only like a select few Pokemon do learn it. So, 
If more Pokemon learned it, everybody would be rocking it. Look, look at this. Look at that. It's absurd. It's absurd. We love it, though. We love it. But um, from here, I think we should just pop another Moon Blast in this slot. And now Venusaur might actually be slower than, than Incineroar. So Moon Blast, knock off into Venusaur. We can knock off Life Orb and potentially KO it at the same time. I probably should just Flare Blitz because Flare Blitz honestly probably would have just KO'd it. Even in the rain. But they're going to end up terrestrializing the bug. Bringing it into a nice, lovely water tower type. So he's looking just to pounce on my Incineroar. But I believe Incineroar is fast and I think Raccoonade's kind of slow. But that's probably going to come across here. We soak pretty well. He's going to lose some damage to the Life Orb. And knockoffs can come through KO. And a KO is beautiful. And I believe this Moonblast should just rip, right? Moonblast does some damage. It does some damage. Plus two, Moonblast coming in hot here. Dealing some damage. Raccoonade's gonna go for liquidation. And KO my Incineroar. No, you're going after Primarina, who should so. It does not. It does not. The rain boost, the stab boost, everything going crazy. And the terror boost. Alright, so Prima Arena getting a lot of work done in this matchup. Loved it so much. Paired it up with Smeargo in the second match, and it worked out perfectly. Worked out so perfectly. Decorate, we used a Focus Ash, we then followed me some moves. Everything was beautiful. But from here, Stomping Tantrum into a nice big time knockoff. GG's. Game, set, match. Knockoff, bop, see you later. 2 0. Loading into our final match, and Prima Arena is just ripping. Decorating it. Giving it plus two on that special attack and just unleashing it on our opponents. I've been loving this team so much. We might want to try to use Smeargle and Primarina again in this final match. Considering it's just so much fun using this Smeargle build. But we're going up against... Oh. 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 I hate going up against these legendaries. Maridon? Is this Maridon or Coridon? I kind of get a mix up. I believe it's Coridon. So Coridon team with Venusaur. So he can set the sun. He can really just get ripping with things. And I believe they're going to lead it. They also have Confi, who's a solid support Pokemon. That was released in Indigo Disc. They got the Fickle Beam Master, Hydrapple. Then they got King Gambo and Dragonite. So honestly, this one's going to be a problem. Let's not sugarcoat it. It's going to be a problem. I could uh, lead Grimmsnarl, which I kind of like. Or I could just go like Smeargle. We have problems here. I'm going to go Incineroar here. I think Incineroar could be solid. Might want to set it up with some screens. Problems. We have problems here. We have problems here. I really want to use Smeargle, but I guess we'll go Primarina and Metagross. Yeah, I guess we'll lock it in. Yeah, this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be super tough. But I just realized we have two of the Sun and Moon Star. We got Incineroar and Primarina. I always forget they're in the same generation. You just see Incineroar way more than Primarina. Incineroar is pretty much just its own Pokemon at this point. It's just Incineroar. It's not even starter anymore. But yeah, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Every time I go up against Coridon, they rip. They're just so strong. They really are. They give themselves a sun boost. They're legit like Groudon's pretty much. But they go Venusaur and Gambo. Real rough for us because we just Defiant popped. Ah. Mm, don't like that. Um. So he's plus one. Uh, I'm thinking of just straight up Flare Blitz in this thing. Instead of faking it out. And maybe just setting up the Reflect turn one. You could put me to sleep, but I think setting up the Reflect is going to be good. Just in case Gambo just wants to start attacking me, right? Gambo's, Gambo's got the, the upper hand right here. The bad call for us to actually just lead Incineroar, but I did think they were going to go into like, uh, the Coridon Venus or Combo instead of King Gambit. But it was a smart call for them. But Venusaur's back. Looking good. Looking good. We just first it. We just pounced on that in the last match. And he's just going to protect Gambo. Oh, dude, come on, man. You're plus one on attack. You got to be attacking there. They end up protecting. They're flat coming out here. They probably thought I was faking it out. But instead, we're going for a flare boots in that slot. And he's going to be putting in to sleep. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, man. I got to go to sleep here. Luckily, we're 2 0. Luckily, we're 2 0. But Venusaur slumps me up. We get off reflect. Um, do I set up a light screen? Potentially, right? We just start spamming Flare Blitz here until we land it. And we'll set up the light screen. So we'll get our screens up for eight turns. Um, Gambo is just. Hopefully, you're not rocking Swords Dance. If, it's, if this thing's rocking Swords Dance at this point, we're in some trouble. We're in big trouble if this thing's gonna pop Swords Dance. Sludge Bomb coming in here. 
Still doing a huge chunk of damage, even through the screens. Incineroar is slumped. I need you to wake up, dude. And Iron Head's gonna double down and finish off Grimstone. So we got off screens, which is rather well for us. Um, we bring out Prey. No. We bring out Metagross here. We can bring out Metagross. Um, I think we just keep ripping with the Foil, but it's hoping that we wake up. I mean, go into the Psychic Fangs. Actually, we terrestrialize and go into Psychic Fangs. Due to the sheer fact is that that thing can hit me with a sucker punch and just KO me, so I'm I'm not I'm not dealing with that. I get we're going into water move with Venusaur on the floor, but I doubt he's going for a grass move into my Metagross slot at this point, and we could just KO with Psychic Fangs. Plus, once Incineroar wakes up, this is some damage we're about to output. End up just withdrawing the Venusaur. Okay, a little odd. They're gonna go into High Trap. Okay, so the High Drippy Trapple comes out here. Evasiveness is gonna drop, and I'm gonna clear body up. Okay, so out comes my Terra. Like I said, this one's not really good. They probably didn't even bring the legendary. I think they had to, right? If they, they swap Venus for the back end, I think they're just saving it for the uh, Maridon or Karidon and Venus for combo. So I'll hit that Terra button. They're gonna hit that Terra button too. So King Gambit's gonna go straight dark here. Most likely, just to dodge some. What's damage here too? Yeah. I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. But now I can bullet punch you, which is good. You going for sucker punch, my guy? Yeah, you're going for sucker punch. Yeah, that's why I terrestrialize. It's still gonna hit me hard. What you mean? I get critted and I get dropped. I waste my terror, waste all my turns. I do wake up though, so Fire Blitz is cooking. Where but it's chunking up damage, but this is terrible. I might get swept. I might get swept. I might get swept, and this is where we double down into this fickle beam guy because we don't want to get swept here. Our opponent played this one really well, though, but that crit did me a little dirty. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just gonna flare blitz. Actually, we might double down into you, King Gambit. Actually, we'll flare blitz you, and I'll just do this, right. Yeah, I'm cool with this. That's so annoying, man. You get I get critted on? Protect comes out from the Gambo. That's fine. That'd be fine. And Flare Blitz is popping. Doing some nice damage. We take some recoil. What's the Fickle Bean Master going for? That's the real question. What's the Fickle Bean Master going for? I should double down to the Fickle Bean Master. Going for a Hydra Pump. Hydra Pump. We're soaking. Beautiful. So we soak that up, which is good. We eat up our Citrus Berry. We have screens still up. Oh my lord. Of course you get a crit through my screens. Would have been actually sitting rather decent, but it'd be like that sometimes. Um, from here, I am just going to go for a Flare Blitz into you. And I'm just going to Moon Blast you now. The Sucker Punch coming in hot here. Are you going after Primarina here? Should be able to soak this spray. Yeah, thank you. I was going to say. No, we don't soak it. So we're not going to get swept here, which is good, because Flare Blitz is going to deal some nice damage there. He's going to Hydra Pump and finish off my Incineroar. But Primarina is just going to finish off this, uh... Of course you have Barry, too. Primarina is just going to finish off this King Gambit. Wow, dude. The crit. There we go. So no sweeps. No sweeps. That Sucker Punch hit me so hard. <laughs> it's just, I see my whole HP bar drop from Metagross. So just no shot. Then just said, a critical hit. Like, come on, man. Really gotta deal with that. Energy Ball is gonna fly here. Um, I think they might just bring out Venusaur here. If they bring out Venusaur, they might outspeed it. But again, I think they're bringing out the Legendary here. The Box Art Scarlet Legendary coming out to finish me off, right? Could be brutal. Could be brutal. Let's see. But hey, we don't get swept here. We don't get swept here. No, they do bring out Venusaur. The Incineroar outspeeds. A Flare Blitz would potentially KO. Which would be lovely. Because then I could do this. And I could finish off the High Drippy Drapple. There's no way we win this, right? There's no shot we win this match. If I somehow pull this match out, that'd be absurd. They still have one more Pokemon. The only way we have a shot at win this is if Incineroar outspeeds. 
Which, I mean, this Incineroar is rather fast. It's in the hundreds. No, it doesn't have speed. Womp womp. Womp womp womp. Womp womp. Yeah, we need him now to speed because in the KO with the Flare Blitz, this would have KO'd you, and then it would have been 2v1, even though I still don't think we're going to win it because I'm guessing the legendaries in the back end. Let's actually see. Let's actually see if Incineroar would have out, uh, spread that Venusaur. Would we have won this one match? We'll see. It depends on who it is. And I'm guessing it's the legendary, right? Yeah, we would have lost. Told you. But what I say? What I say? So that's going to be a game. That Pokemon is so sick, though. He's one of my favorite legendaries now. But I'm going to just run this one. We go 2-1, and, and we have a great video for you guys. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Primarina in Regulation F. Love this team all around. We had Metagross and Incineroar thriving out next to Primarina. And then we also have this cool Smeargle build that we got to showcase in battle number two. Pop the Decorate, give plus two on the Primarina, just have that thing hit like a truck from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.